let's create a new pad um, tab. I'd like it to be um, let's do a multi layer pad here. Uh, I'm going to do round this time. Where's my. Where's my size? There you go. Round. And the whole size. Let's do uh, 2 mm. And this is basically the size of the paste around it. So if I do 3mm by 3mm, that's the, the paste size around the hole. So of that diameter. So I can hit, uh, should be a, a section here that I can decide what net it's uh, connected to. Type source. There you go, net. Let's do plus five volts. Looks good. And place it maybe here. And there's another one we're gonna place. Tab, make it ground. Looks good. Line it up. There you go. Okay, I placed too many backs. Nice. And there's no reason for it to be two. You can designate it at one. It would be easier if they were switched. And if you want to align them and you're not sure exactly how to get it perfect, like you have shaky hands or your grid is off, you can do this quick one, shift, click the other, um, and do right click, align. And I want to align them, their horizontal center so that they're on top of each other. So I'll click this and then I'm gonna decide on which one I want to use as the reference. So I click on this bottom one, my top one will move over, click on the top one, my bottom one will move over, so click here, and now they're pretty nicely. Let's just drag this whole layer a little closer. Cool, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a nice, oh, I'm not in my top layer. A nice fat trace from five volts up to this five volt pin. As fat as I can go. 0.5. I can go fatter. One mm. Cool. Nice and ugly. Let's move some things over a little bit. I'm gonna move it down here. Move this up. Go back to center. So these great things mean there's errors, so because I moved everything out of the way, I'm just gonna reroute it. Weeks, weeks, week, and then bring this down a little bit too. Cool. Cleaned up a little bit. And what I wanted from here was this to be in the center, this to come, okay. I've made a mess of this, so let's just start again. So we'll click here, start routing, and go right up to the, the pad. It's a little chunky, you can see. There's this extra guy here. Um, but the reason for this is that we have um, as big a trace and as low inductance as possible for the power rail, just so that um, we don't get very many uh, voltage spikes or anything on our power, um, and so that we can keep it as clean as possible, a power source. So um, a common thing to do is to uh, create a power plane. Um, so we can do that. Uh, What's the best way to do this? We need to get five volts here and also to the top right. So we 
could create, I think what we're gonna do is, is take power around like this and around like this in a big plane and then put all our ground on the bottom plane. And so we'll have little vias that go from this ground pad to the bottom plane. Here as well, here as well. So you didn't wrap this one. Tab, point three. Cool. So to place a, a plane, you place polygon. You can start drawing the polygon you want. This. So this doesn't look too good. Let's just fix this. And one annoying thing is every time you change a polygon, you need to right click it and re pour. Um, so, what you can do in the preferences, I think, uh, general, you can re pour polygon after modification automatically. So. If I just edit it a little bit, it'll just actually report itself, which is good. Exactly how you'd want it to be. Cool, so you have a big plane of 5 volts. Um, you can see that it doesn't actually connect to our 5 volt things. That's because the, the core doesn't know what net it is. Plus 5. Core over all same net objects. Apply. So now it's actually connected. It's not connected around uniformly and that's um, for thermal relief reasons if it is connected uniformly then um, anytime you try to solder something to here all the heat from your soldering iron will dissipate really quickly into this big plane because all this plane is is just a huge island of copper and copper is a really good conductor of heat so when you're soldering you'll just lose all that heat through the plane it'll be really tough to get solder to stick to the pin so the thermal relief only connects it at four points so you can you're your pin doesn't cool off too quickly. So let's, uh, when I make my planes, I like to make them pretty. So this one's kind of ugly right now. There's a whole bunch of little uh, indents and stuff. Let's make it a little nicer. And when making planes, I like to try and always only keep it 45 degree angles because um, this angle doesn't look so good. So what we can do is just move this until the line turns green like this and that's a 45 degree it also looks a lot nicer too Modifying polygon border is pretty useful. You can actually just change the border itself. Let's see if we can't get this pad into the plane as well. So I'm just gonna try and get a little creative here. Make some space. People usually don't like 90 degree traces. They're just low frequency signals. It's not a big deal, but um, general, just, just PCB practices to be aware of.
So that's it's not bad for the 5 plane. Kind of quick. You could probably do better job if you spend more time on it. Um, let's get the, the ground plane going. So this kind of little section of ground, they both need to be connected to the ground plane, so we'll make a mini plane kind of here. And then we'll use some vias to bring them down to the bottom. These vias need to have nets as well for it to connect them to the ground. Let's give them the nets quickly. And we'll just um, add it up to them with a nice fat trace. Cool. Um, so here they're, they're kind of trapped on the top layer. We're going to have a nice big ground plane underneath our stuff. So let's make that now. Place the bottom layer. Polygon pour. can tab again to modify your parameters right away. Do the ground. Ground. Pearl. Let's see. Next objects. And let's create it. Cool, so um, bottom layer you can see it connects to our ground thing. We want it to connect to our via, which is great. It connects to our via, which is great. Um, now we're just missing this section here. It needs to connect to ground. Uh, so we can pop some vias in there. I guess there's only space for one. Um, in general, you'd like to put probably more if your plane is bigger, but that's okay. Um, like cup three or four vias is, is common, honestly. What I don't understand is why I got rid of my plane. Net ground. Okay, place it here. Okay. There you go. Show them the space. more. So you can see it's kind of good to this side of the plane, but not this side. To this one red thermal relief. A little bigger. Okay, here's connected. Okay, that's fine then. 